Okay, here's the boat. I'm going to try to answer some of your questions, all right? All right, so the trailer. The trailer was serviced 2001 by Malott Brothers on Willow Street. They repacked the bearings for me for our trip to take it to Canada. So that was 2000, uh, I'm sorry, 2010. I don't know what I said. 2010, they did it. We did it. We took it up 10. We took it up 11. Uh, 12, we took it up, we didn't take it up this year, in 2013, uh, we took it up to the beach, out to the, uh, there's a tread, that's pretty much right, they're not the best tires, I mean, probably like $75 tires, I do have one spare tire for it, mounts right here, it's not on it right now, trailer's custom made for this, I mean, it, it's a trailer for a pop-up camper, so it was custom made for this thing. Uh, boat. So here's the boat. Where it's covered. You asked some questions about some of the stress points. So right here around the mast, you can see there's no stress at all around the mast. Right here. The boat's got good color to it because it was stored mainly inside on a lit at a lake. So for this age boat, this guy's great color. I fear the ones down in Florida don't have that kind of color. This would little dirt would come right off. Anyway, it says right around this, it looks really good. I mean, the plastic isn't bending or stressed in any way. Uh, that's the mass. Uh, out here on the the arms. There you can see the front of that arm. And then you flip up in the back. They both look good, too. I don't see any, like, stress fractures or wrinkles on any of that. That's up behind the back. There. A little piece of something. There you go. Looks good. Around there. The hull, I mean, you're going to get like scuffs and scratches. You could buff out yourself if you want. Make it pretty smooth. That's a pretty big one. But, you know, like stuff like that. Plastic boat. Right? So they look, that's reminiscent of all of them without me taking off the tarp here. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, these guys, where the arms attached, that all looks good too. Now, one of the problems I have had with the with the um, the outriggers is that if you don't tie the tramps on um, really good uh, correctly, then one of the the arms is going to sit up like it's going to it's not that high, but it's going to be not even. So when you go to tie the tramps on, you have to tie them and tie them correctly, or the the the, the outriggers, the outrig pontoons won't be adjusted right. So that's what I would say. I mean, man, you, you can see that the manufacturer, um, they're, they're straight. They seem to take, a, this one, one of them seems to take, I can't tell, I lined it all up and tried to do some measurements and put a level on it and everything to see if like when it was molded, was it inaccurate? Because if you just put them on and you don't tie up the tramps and you get a little bit of problem, that was the biggest issue I had, but I figured out how to tie the tramps and I seem to get it pretty good. So. Um, that would be the issue there. Um, you want to talk about the rudder? Yes, the question about the rudder. Back here in the rudder. Rudder looks good. I have some new wires and everything to put on that I'm going to put on this spring. So they're inside. I didn't want to store them with new wires and stuff on it. So I have new wires, guy wires to go. Um, ropes look good. You can see a nice white rope there. That looks good. And here's the rudder. I mean, the worst part of rudder is always going to be what gets done underneath. I don't know if that shows up or not. But eventually it's going to wear through. I mean, it's in, I would say, good to fair condition as far as that. I mean, it'll still last a while. Depends on how much you rub this on the ground. I don't know how thick the plastic is there, but there's no sign that it's, that it's coming, like it's wearing up too high like we're we're still we still have no gap in there this is solid rubber all the way through here so that i think people on the internet have to replace rudders when this gets worn down to a certain point and then it lit then it opens up it's hollow on the inside we don't have any sign of that yet all right uh, i think that answered most of the questions you asked the hitch ball size is a smaller what two it's the smaller of the, the two hitch size. What was it? Two and a one and seven eighths there. One seven eighth ball. And 
Let's see. There's the other tire there. And the mast is aluminum. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, I hope I answered your questions.